Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut full across bangs and I like mine kind of angled on the ends. So if you want to know how to do that, just keep watching. So I just cut some side sweat bangs. So if you don't want to take the plunge and full across bangs and you want to just do maybe some side sweat bangs, I will have that video linked down below where you can go and learn how to do that. They're super, super easy. But if you want to cut full across bangs, um, I already kind of have my hair sectioned off so you may want to go into the side sweat bang video just to watch how to section it off because I'm not really going to be showing you how to do that here. I'll show you how it's parted, but if you kind of want to see and hear more of an explanation, you can hop over to that video and check it out. I'm just going to start by clipping up my hair just because the bangs are already kind of sectioned out and um, I need the rest of it out. Alright, so I have my bangs sectioned out. As you can see, just a simple kind of triangle parting. I don't want, I'm not cutting my bangs super, super thick or kind of thin or wispy kind of just a good medium. So if you want them thicker, take a thicker section, a thicker like pie shape, or if you want them wispier, just take a smaller pie shape. Super simple and easy. So all you're really gonna need for to cut bangs is make sure to have some really sharp shears. I'm using these from Con Air, um, and they're about like $14, $15. You just wanna make sure they're sharp, sharp so you don't damage your hair when you cut your bangs if you use blunt shears, and then it's just not gonna look so great. Um, I do work in a salon and have professional shears, but I forgot to bring those home with me. But you don't need those anyway because you can do it with these. Now, if you are not confident enough to do this yourself, then I would recommend go see a hairdresser. Um, that's what we're here for is to do this for you. But if you want to do it yourself and are confident enough, then I'm going to show you how in this video. So we're going to jump right, right into so it. So we're going to be starting with the twist cut method and then tweak the bangs from there because the twist cut method is super simple. But you just want to make sure you twist them right. It's not just taking the hair and twisting it like this because I don't know what you're going to turn out with. It may work, it may not. There is a little bit of a technique to doing the twist cut method. So you want to comb your bangs nice and straight, have them all kind of in the middle, and they're straight in my fingers. As you can see, I'm holding them. I'm going to come a little closer for you guys. All right, so you want to start off by holding them in the hand that you used to cut your hair because when we twist them, we're going to be taking them over to the other hand, and if you do it with your... Um, if you do it with your non-dominant hand first into your cutting hand, you're not going to be able to cut them, so you're just going to have to start over. So hopefully that made sense. So start them out in your cutting hand. You're going to twist them just like this. So now they're straight and my fingers are pointing towards my face. Then you're going to take your other hand, your two fingers, you're going to take it right on top and keep it straight. You're going to let go and complete the twist. So now we have one twist just like that. It's really easy once you get it down. So the reason we're doing this is because then when we release them, they're going to kind of go and angle nicely around the face. But I'm going to keep them a little longer so I can play and kind of cut the ends a little shorter if I need to because I don't want to cut them too short. So I'm going to take the hair, just comb it into my hands, take my fingers, keep them down. Don't elevate them up because when you do this they are going to have a little bit of layer in the end and I'm not really going for that look. So just kind of keep them straight down with your face. Alright, I'm going to put it in my cutting hand, twist them towards my face, then I'm going to take my other hand straight on top just like that and then finish the twist just like so. And you can see it's kind of twisted and it's all nice and smooth. All right, so I'm going to start off with it at this length, which is kind of on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to take my shears and I'm going to be point cutting into them. That just means you're kind of cutting up into them instead of going straight across just because I want a softer feathered edge. So I always start off longer because I don't want to cut too much. Now I'm going to have to bring them away from my face, but the fingers are not moving their place just so I can actually see what I'm doing. So we're gonna cut into the hair. Go a little cross side in the process, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna let him go. And let's see what we have got going. All right, my hair's a little wonky and obviously they're too long, but that's okay. I'm already liking the direction they're going. 
And if you could kind of stop here if you wanted shorter side bangs, just kind of style them. I love bangs, they're so cute. I'm going to do the twist cut method again, just because they're still really far too long. So, but I like to do it that way, because I don't want to cut them too short. They're getting there. I think from here I'm just going to, I've got the general shape of them, I still can't see, obviously. But from this point, what I'm going to do, I still can't see anything. I'm going to part my bangs in half. And I'm just going to clip this one in the other side. You could keep going with the twist cut method, but I feel like I don't have as much control with um, how short I'm cutting them and the angle I'm getting in them. That's just why I'm taking it over and doing it the way I'm going to be doing it. Now, take your comb with your bangs. I still have a fair amount to cut off. I'm just going to take this side, my left side to the right, the opposite direction. I'm doing that just so I can get the angle in it. But this way I just feel I have more control and can see what I'm doing better than with the twist cut. So I'm just gonna cut into them. I know I still have quite a bit to take off. And I'm kind of going and angling the ends. I'm gonna speed this up because you guys get the gist of what we're doing. Just take them in the opposite direction. Kind of keep them close to your face and cut into them. I'm going to go to the other side now because we're getting closer to the length. I'm going to take a little piece from the other side so I have a bit of a guide to see the length that we have them at. So I'm just going to take these to the other side and do the same thing. Make sure not to cut your guide because you're taking it in the opposite direction now so it's going to be shorter. So I'm pretty much done cutting my bangs now. I'm going to show you a couple more tricks that you can do to make sure they're even on both sides. So I was taking it over to the other side and cutting it until it was a good length. But also what I did was I took all of it into the middle and there's a hair that's not supposed to be there. So I could see it just like this and just cut and made sure that they were even on both sides and that they were the same length and then just kind of take them down and move them around. And I just turned my straightener on just so I can um, straighten them and curl them under a little bit because when you wash and dry and blow dry them, they do um, kind of curl under more. So you want to make sure you don't cut them too, too short, unless you want short bangs, in which case go, go at it. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of straighten them. And they are pretty straight already, but I'm really loving them. That was a little too much. Got a little carried away with the straightening. <laughs> or the curling under. Alright, I think this side is a little bit longer. You can kind of see that or my eye is up higher or something. But I'm just going to fix that real quick. And just kind of tweak them as you see fit. You know, bangs are really personalized. And you just kind of got to go with what you think needs to be done. And it's, it is hard on yourself. So if you want to do, have someone else do this, you know, wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. <laughs> because I will say it's tricky, tricky on yourself. You, you also want to make sure both sides are equal. And I could tell this one was longer because I took a little more off this side. So we're just going to fix that real quick. It's kind of just cross-checking, going by how it looks, taking little bits off. Because a lot of times it's not a lot of hair that you need to take off, it's just kind of the little bitty ends. And that's about right. So that is the bangs finished. I'm going to take the rest of my hair down now that we've got them all sorted out. I love to wear my hair up and my hair has grown since I cut it um, in a pixie cut. And also a style that's really been in recently has been kind of the half top knot. And I think that's super cute with some bangs. Like a little, obviously, done better than that. And with the bangs cooperating, but they're going every direction because my hair was not in bangs. So yeah, before. that's how you cut your bangs. It's really super easy. Just, you know, 
taking it over to the opposite side or you can do the twist cut method the whole way which is really easy but um, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. If you take the plunge and cut your bangs, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and you could send me a picture and show me how they turned out. I hope this video helped you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!